Okay. <laughs> okay. So here we are. Um, first of all, I love you guys so much. This one's mostly a reader, so I'm going to try and stick to that. <laughs> the Best Man's Toast by Matthew Bonasso, Best Man. <laughs> Dedicated to Michael and Aaron. <laughs> Item A, disclaimer. <laughs> Grab a butter knife and start scraping, because this toast is well done. <laughs> Item B, speech. Webster's Dictionary defines wedding as the fusing of two metals with a hot torch. <laughs> I think you two are like two metals. Gold medals. Michael Scott. Michael Scott said that at Phyllis's wedding in the office, but I think it makes for a good example. Last October, these two were like gold and silver, and Father Suey wedded them together, but we all know he didn't use a blowtorch. That would have been a bad idea entirely. Webster's Dictionary... Webster's Dictionary defines best man as the greatest of all living men. <laughs> But I, but I prefer my more humble definition, the principal groomsman at a welding. <laughs> that, was, that was all me. Um, so what that means is that Michael has commissioned me to speak to all of you today about my relationship with him and his bride, Erin. He chose me because he thinks I'm his best chance of convincing you all that he's a nice and fun person to be around. <laughs> Page two. <laughs> but he is sorely mistaken. <laughs> Ever since I first met Michael, he has been satisfactory at best. <laughs> when we were young... When we, there's so few, there's a lot more. But, when we were younger, I'm convinced that he slowly trained me to believe that I enjoyed watching him play video games, and therefore I never got a turn. Not only this, but when we were in high school, Michael rarely let me use the car on the weekends. He never let me pick the music on the way to school. He always got to sit in the front seat when mom was driving, and he never let me peel the plastic off of his new phone when he got one. Not even once. He tried to cover up for all of it by doing things like dropping everything for me at a moment's notice to be at my side, or being my number one fan and supporter through all my endeavors. But I saw straight through his little game. <laughs> he, just, he just wanted that PlayStation in that front seat. In my experience as a taller version of a child, though, I have come to see Michael as a much more than adequate person to keep in my life. I think this is mostly because we no longer have the stress on our relationship of having to share our stuff. I now have completed the process of passing that stress to Aaron. <laughs> Aaron, I recommend that you do not play video games with him or share car rides without a pair of headphones. Um, I can share a few other tricks that Mia and I have learned and um, at the end of it all, I think at the end of it all, you'll find yourself happy to have him around. You know, for a good laugh every once in a while, and uh, the occasional lifelong support and companionship. <laughs> Page three. Okay, so full disclosure, after I met Erin, and Michael had introduced me to her as his girlfriend, I assumed, okay, this has to be uh, like an actress that he's hired, you know, for the, for the operation. Um, like, you know, most people just, you know, tell people that their girlfriend lives in another country, but this guy's Manti Teo over here has got a whole other operation. Um, so I went along with it. I went along with it for a while. I decided, you know, I gotta be a good brother, I gotta go along with it. But then, you know, weeks went by, and months went by, and years passed, and I started to think, oh my gosh, this guy is really running up a tab here. <laughs> But seriously, I couldn't, I couldn't find her name on IMDb, and so I figured, you know, she must really love this guy a whole lot. Um, yeah, so I just kind of talk to her when I have to. We're not that close, but yeah, to Michael Aaron. Uh, uh, Tom. 
Uh, no, that's not it. Um, there's not enough time in the universe for me to explain how lucky I am personally to have this woman in my life. Um, at the end of the day, I don't really need to explain to anyone here how amazing uh, these two people are. That's why I pulled an eight mile earlier and led with all of Michael's negative qualities. But um, I want to make sure that anyone on uh, Michael's side of this family um, who hasn't had a lot of time yet to get to know Aaron really understands uh, what he's getting out of this deal. <laughs> Um, there have been times in the past where I've been described as sensationalistic, <laughs> foolhardy, impulsive, delusional, is one of my personal favorites. But, honest to God, the very first thing that I said to Michael the day that I met Erin, not 30 seconds after she left, was, you're gonna marry that girl. That's a fact. Um, no. Yeah, go ahead, please. Now, I've made many hard and fast determinations in my life based on little to no evidence. <laughs> but if there's one that I'm most proud of to have been right about, it's that one. Over the years, Aaron has become one of the very most important people in my life. At the wedding, Father Suey was reading those verses from Corinthians with love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud. For many reasons, those verses strike home for me um, and already make me emotional as is. <laughs> Multiply that by one Aaron and you get my mom handing me a tissue five minutes into her son's wedding. <laughs> um, it was a big moment listening to those verses surrounded by all of that love, realizing just how much Aaron adds to it all. Aaron cares and gives and loves automatically. Sometimes she knows when I need support before I even know it myself. Um, and she's been that person for me. She's been that person for our, our sister, Mia. Um, it's just who she is. Um, <laughs> Michael may be from Mars and Aaron from Venus, but they're both givers in a big way. I've said a lot about this guy without saying a lot about this guy, uh, but a quick story. For, um, for my brother's uh, final high school football season, I finally found myself on the same team as him for the first time. And that year we fell short of the state championship in the three years previous, he had won every year. Um, and we fell short that year. And so he decided to give me one of his previous state champ rings. I tried to tell him to take it back, but I knew that wasn't gonna happen because um, what he said to me in fewer words was, you are my brother, and that will always mean more to me. Um, and that's just who he is. Um, so I guess when Michael really likes someone, he just gives them a ring. <laughs> um, there's, <laughs> there's a joke in there somewhere about how not everyone here has a ring from Michael. And, uh, Did you get a ring, Mark? No? Okay, well, they're all probably going to be in the mail after the reception, but... Um, thank you guys so much. We're all so lucky to have them in our lives, um, and they're lucky to have each other. To Michael and Aaron.